hello, hello, and welcome back to Gomer Plays Quint's Revenge! Now, normally in other Mega Man games, I would just pick randomly and go with Mega Buster only, especially since I'm going to be fighting these bosses again. But for right now, considering I'm not too well-versed in each of these games, I'm going to go in order, in uh, weakness order. So I'm going with Clash Man. It's supposed to be Crash Man, but I guess they wanted to keep with, you know, the, the Game Boy 2 theme naming. Ugh. Because this is basically what it's supposed to, what at least it started out as, a, uh, a remake of Mega Man 2 for Game Boy. Oh god. That game, it's fun, but it, it's not a very well put together game. I mean, it's well put together enough to where it's playable and you can get out there. Oh shit, those bombs. Um, you know, it, it's playable, you, put, you get them out, you can, you know, you, you can get some satisfaction from it. But there were just some things that was just, what the fuck were they thinking, you know? Uh, mm. Hi. I'm supposed to go over there. Come on. Boop. Air jump. Ah, uh, that's one of those things. Hi. Hello, Mr. Met. Wake up. By the way, there's no energy balancer in this game, ever. So, that's going to be fun. Shoot the feet. The agony of defeat. Oh shit, 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 shit. No. Those bombs blow up, they'll they'll like take the entire screen with you. And and damage the fuck out of fuck. That was stupid. That was stupid. But that's okay. You know, we're here to make stupid mistakes. I've got I've set my life's infinite because I don't want to have to replay entire stages if I get stuck on a boss or whatever. Ugh. And believe me, some of the fortress bosses they could be a pain in the ass. Come here. Come here, Joe. There you go. Ah, fuck. Oh, they... Man, they fade away a little too fast. I think. But, you know. Hi. Hey, wake up. There you go. Thank you. Hi. Think you're gonna get away with that? I don't think so. Agony of defeat. Hey, 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 hey. Thankfully, those things don't activate till they're on screen. Wee! Ow! Wee! Yeah, no, we don't want that. Um. Come here, Mr. Met. There you go. And oh, hey! Shoot the bomb. It blows up in a few seconds, and it can take an enemy with it. Yay! Ugh, timing going through those things. That's a pain in the ass. Oh, look at this! We get more. <laughs> Blow up all of the bombs. Oh, shit. Okay, good. I think I've finally reached a checkpoint. Blue bombs, I don't think, uh, respawn. What the hell was that? Okay. That was weird. Wow. Okay. That that was that was different. Um <laughs> I I think that's my first time ever dying to that particular in that particular segment. So that was definitely weird. You know, at least I don't have to worry about falling if I get hit on this ladder. Thank goodness for small favors, right? Okay, these guys. Yay! Hi. Goodbye. And up we go. Whee! Hey, dude. Bye, dude. He's gonna drop a met, see? Alrighty. These guys, however, just drop bombs. Oh, hey. Okay. Oop. Doom, 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 doom. Whee! Bye bye. Fuck you guys. All right. Crash man, you're mine. He behaves just like he does in the originals. You shoot. He jumps. But he also does that. Oh wow. There you go. And that's it. Boing. Uh, Crash Blaster. We're, yeah, I I, I hate the I hate calling him Clash Man. 
so it's Crash Blaster to me. Which, um, it, it's definitely different than the original Crash Bomb, which I will show off in the next video. Uh, but who will I go after? You'll just have to stay tuned to find out now, won't you? Hmm. <laughs> Unless you're a patron, then odds are you're going to be able to find out in about 30 seconds after your, this video ends. <laughs> which is awesome. Okay. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know, hit the like button. You can subscribe if you want more videos. That's awesome. Uh, if you have some constructive criticism, leave them down in the comments. I could really use it, and it helps me to find out, okay, how can I improve? What can I do better? You know, I, I really do need that. Uh, and she doesn't do the title card artwork for this particular series, I don't think. As of this recording, I haven't put the title cards together yet. But uh, you, can go, you can still go check out my title card artist, Becky Hopkins. She has a website, becky-hopkins.com, where you can see her amazing artwork for award-winning animation. Yes, she has an award-winning animated short, and it's featured on her site. It's pretty awesome. Go check it out. And if you want to commission her, go over to patreon.com slash beckyhop. And also, don't forget to check out her webcomic, Otherworldly. All the links are down in the doobly-doo. And here's a reason why you should read Otherworldly. Chandelier Flail. That's all. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a lot more than that. It's pretty awesome in its own right. But Chandelier Flail is just an awesome concept, and I'm glad she went with it. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.